Welcome to Truffasoft. In this segment, I'll be covering the filtering feature in Excel. In Excel 2007, go to Data, press Filter, and as you can see, a drop-down menu form. In the previous version of Excel, highlight the area of the data table that you want to filter. Go to Data, Filter, press Auto Filter. And again, you see that there is a drop down menu now. Filtering is quite useful for looking at a large set of data by looking at a specifically the sort of data that you want to see. Let's take a look. So here we have a status. And if you click on the filter, you can see that there are, looks like, four categories. Backlog, bill, quote stage, work in process. I'm sorry, that would be work in progress. Say you're only interested in looking at backlog, so you would unclick select all and click backlog. Now you filter the entire data to only show you the data that has backlog information. And if you want to further refine your search, say let's take a look at salesperson. Oh, I want to look at only Mary Lamb's uh, backlog. Again, you would fill uh, unselect by clicking on select all and then selecting Mary Lamb. These records will show you only Mary Lamb's backlog information. And you can have multiple filtering process. And in 2007, you can tell which field are filtered by the changes in sign here. This has a triangle pointing downwards and the field that has filter has little filtering icon. Now in order to get it all back, press select all and you're back to looking at the entire menu again. I'm sorry, entire data. Excel 2007 has a bit more feature in terms of filtering because, well, because it's a newer version. <laughs> and Excel, the previous version of Excel is slightly less feature enabled, however, still powerful nonetheless. So you can do filtering, but it's not as customizable as Excel 2007. As you can see, you can only choose one at a time as opposed to being able to choose in multiple filters. 